many years ago. We were in South Salem in a middle to upper middle class neighborhood on eight acres with an outdoor amphitheater and a creek running through the property and 500 year old oak trees. It was like a park, it was gorgeous. Man, for anybody that wanted to have um, a, a church that you were a part of and be blessed in it, within ourselves, it was a great place. But it was just a country club. We were like, okay, what are we, what are we doing here then? Like, this doesn't seem meaningful. One day, I don't even remember whose idea it was, hey, we should probably just sell the church and like see where God takes us. So we had a meeting, we took a vote, it was unanimous. Everyone's like, okay, let's sell the church. And God provided a place. He, guy I don't know, calls me up out of the blue, says meet me down at this address without a contract, without anything going through the conference yet. He hands me the keys within 15 minutes of meeting him and says, it's your place. You can begin using it immediately. And then he doesn't charge us rent, and then he remodels it, and then he buys us a sign. And he starts contributing to our ministry out of the blue. When we moved into this location, we said, God, whoever walks through this door, we will minister to. And so, um, guess who walks through? We didn't realize that we were on the, the homeless superhighway, if you will. And so, we had glass windows all across the front, and they just start coming. And we're, if you come in, we're going to love you. And we don't care what's going on. Through a friend, I'm introduced to Dale. Dale says, hey, we'd love to have you come to church. I said, man, I got four dogs. I can't come to church. And he says, well, we have a duck. I said, what? He says, we have a duck that comes to our church, so bring your dogs. I was still church shopping. Uh, so I had my little checklist of what I thought I should be looking for. And things were not being checked on that that I thought, yet I could feel something there. So I went home and I told my wife, I said, well, uh, no excuses, they have a duck. If there's a duck, I'm pretty much going to be all in at that point. And at the end of the service, I was still sitting in the, in the sanctuary and thinking about things, and I felt a tap on my shoulder, and I turn around, nobody's there. So we go to our first service, and we're kind of sitting, you know, not way standoffish, but kind of off to the side, and over my shoulder, the door opens, and I hear a little whack. <laughs> and I look, and sure enough, here comes a duck in a stroller. And I looked at my wife, and I said, well, that's God making me put my money where my mouth is. And I had been sort of in my head talking with the Lord, and you know, like, is this, do we go back to church, is this the church? And then he just asked, he said to me, he said, but they love me. And that was it. Yeah, it started because of a duck. Uh, well, God put the duck in our life. So the, the very first thing that we want for anybody that walks into the door is to know that they belong here. I don't think that you can provide something better than that. When he welcomes people in, he don't just welcome the people in, he welcomes his family in. We're not just people, we're family. We're all family. But to have a place where you know that you can take ownership and you know it's yours, you walked in and, and, and you're not just like, there's them and then there's the, the ones that are like um, being tolerated. No, there's just us. I believe what God teaches us is that there's us, that we're part of, we're part of humanity. We're not here, he's up here, and, and we're down here, we're all right here. And that's what I love about this church. You don't see a lot of big things at once, but you see things through God over time. And now that my wife and I are involved, and we, we have that in our life, and we have, we see, we know what God's done in our lives, to see him working through other people and being a part of Inside Out, it's, just, it's very special to me and my wife. So for those of us who have a home with walls and a kitchen, we have food before we leave our home. A lot of my friends now, th their home is maybe a tenth or maybe not even a tenth. 
and it's a, it's a gracious welcoming of the day to provide a meal and to be a neighbor. If I invited somebody to my house, more than likely I would give them food. <laughs> so why is this different? And the church is not this building, it's the people that come here. And so, you know, with our, we're opening our home and sharing a meal. And I think it's powerful when you just, you wrap, wrap yourself around people and go, you belong. This is a place where you get to be. This is yours. You walk through the door, this is your church. You didn't walk into somebody else's church, this is yours. To sell the country club, to let that go and to take on the hardest ministry in the world, um, it takes courage. And this has been one place I really loved. This is my home. Within two months of coming to this location here, one of our female elders, she has a dream one night and God wakes her up and says, you have to start a woman's shelter and here's the name, Safe Sleep. And so she calls me like at three in the morning. She's like, hey Dale, you probably think I'm crazy, but I was woke up by God. He told me to do this thing. And I said, okay, let's do it. And she's like, how? And I go, I don't know, it doesn't matter how. God said, we do it, we do it. Well, within a couple of months, Safe Sleep, the woman's shelter came into being. Safe Sleep is a place for um, homeless women and their pets, and sometimes they have kids, but they each have their own bed, uh, three to a bedroom. They have dinner. They um, visit at night and sometimes watch a movie, and then they go to bed, and in the morning they have breakfast, and they talk, and then they go on their way for the day. Like God just uh, I said, I said I wanted it, and he did it. It brought me back to the point when we signed the papers on this building here. And uh, he goes, I'm the second owner. And he said, when I bought it from that owner, that owner said that they'd had a vision. And in that vision, they were told that one day this building would be used 100% for ministry. And he goes, I'm the one that's handing it off. And then he starts tearing up because he's like, I'm handing it off for that to happen. God had a plan in 1950 that this place was gonna be a place of ministry. Inside Out is very special to me and the, and the community that we're in. It's uh, pretty amazing to go from a country club to our gym, you know, but uh, the way we got in this building was incredible. Um, all the blessings that he bestowed upon us to, to let this happen. God is good all the time. And We're all called. My mom taught me that. She installed that into me when I was younger. And so it, I grew up that way. And now it's passed on to my kids and wish more people would get involved. You would love it too. And so I guess what I would say to anybody watching this is just be willing to let God take you to the unknown. And if he's leading you, you're going to have all kinds of exciting adventures ahead and it will be way different than what you've had previously.